Hi everyone and welcome to the OpenDNS IDE tutorial. We continue working on our OpenDNS IDE project. In this video we're going to debug our project. After the project is built with a debug build type, switch to the debugger view. Before running the debugger, we need to create run configurations, if they haven't been created already. Let's create new run configurations for the executable project. Select the VMS debugger. The launch file is created. For this project, we do not need to make any changes to the launch configurations. But for your projects, you may want to specify a program to run and pass arguments to the executable. When the launch file is saved to the .vs code directory, new run configurations appear in the list. We choose debug and run the debugger. First it connects to OpenDMS, then it opens the debug console and starts the session. The main.cpp file is opened automatically. The Visual Studio Code debugger provides all the essential tools for debugging. You can see the variables in the variables panel. You can add watch points in the watch panel. Use expressions without braces to request variable values, local or global. Use expressions with empty braces to enable a watch point. Expressions with conditional expressions in braces enable watch points with conditions. For instance, when you want to see the value of x when it's less than 5. The call stack helps you understand what methods are being called. You can also add breakpoints. They are listed in the breakpoints view. There are standard controls for running, stepping over, stepping into, stepping out, rerunning and stopping a debug session. We can continue the execution until the first breakpoint, check the variable or expression we want to watch, control the call stack and follow the messages in the debug console. We can step over to see if the methods are doing what they're supposed to be doing. We can end the debug session and continue working on the project, make fixes, add new features, rebuild and run again. Thank you for following this OpenDMS IDE tutorial. We hope you find it useful. Stay tuned for more videos on OpenDMS products.